everyone, my name is Roscoe and we are back. So today I have a lot of Yeezy news. Looks like we got two new pairs of Yeezy sneakers that's gonna be dropping in 2021. The 700 V2s are back. Also wanna touch on the Joe Rogan podcast that Ye was just featured on because it was a little bit of information that Ye dropped in regards to Yeezy sneakers. But first, we need to recap the whole release on these Yeezy 350 V2 Naturals. These were sleepers, man. Now the weeks leading up to the natural release just felt different. Now I have been covering Yeezy sneakers for about two and a half years, and this one probably was the least talked about. Nobody was talking about this shoe. No like coverage on Instagram. There was just no buzz around this release at all. As soon as I got it in hand, I knew you know, this one was gonna fly off the shelves. It's simple, it's clean, it's wearable. White kinda has that cream color, and then it has that nice hint of gold. I knew like once people started seeing better images of this sneaker, I felt like people were gonna jump on board, and it looks like that's what happened. Thank you to everybody that tuned in the live cop. Best chance to cop this shoe was definitely waking up super early in the morning and trying to cop off the foot sights. That's how I managed to grab a pair. I know I saw a lot of people start hitting on Yeezy Supply, which is good, but man, did a lot of people get stuck on review and pay once again. I did see though that a lot of bots got stuck on review and pay as well, so but that might be that bot protection that they're doing. Congrats to everybody that secured a pair of the Natural 350 V2. Like I say, I think once you get them in hand, you're really gonna like it. Not a lot of people knew that this shoe was reflective. That kind of caught a lot of people off guard. Now, what's this shoe doing on the resale market? I had little Timmy's in my ear all day long saying bricks, bricks, bricks. The small sizes are doing certainly well. They are well over $300. I do think that number is gonna come down and they might be just at 300. And then all the other sizes seems to be at 275, which is good for 350 V2. Since they continue to pump out colorways, I would say sell now at 275. If you can't get 275, I would say just hold. This shoe is only going to go up next year. These will be 350 plus, easy. I'm excited to have this in my rotation. Let me know down in the comments if you were able to cop the Yeezy 350 V2 Natural. Now let's get into the podcast, the Joe Rogan experience that Ye was just recently featured on. Now I'm not gonna go full in depth because this was a very long episode. I thought this was one of the better interviews that I've seen Ye give in a very long time. And it kind of gave me a perspective on Ye's thoughts and ideas on a long list of topics. And of course, the main topic that they discussed was Ye running for president. You know, he brought up owning his masters and the owning possibly buying out Universal. You know, he also mentioned about Star Wars at one point. The little part that he talked about with Joe about Yeezy sneakers. And the main thing was the Yeezy Foam Runner. You know, he mentioned that this was probably one of the most important sneaker designs that he's ever created. He basically talked about how the opening of this sneaker is very ergonomical and also how it doesn't feature a tongue. One of the more important things that he was kind of thinking about designing the shoe was that, oh, it needs to look good with jeans. Wearing jeans with sneakers was very important to him. So jeans have to stack nice on top of the foam runner. So that is why they had to design it in this shape. He also talked about how these are made in Cody, Wyoming, and that they can pump these out in 25 minutes, which once again blew my mind. I'm like, these are made in 25 minutes? How come we haven't gotten any restocks or new colorways yet, yay? He mentioned how he wanted to make these 20 bucks making everything more affordable. You know, he also took a jab at hype beast culture. He never liked how people kind of viewed things like, oh, I'm better than you because I have this certain colorway or I have this certain shoe and you don't. That kind of fits in with, you know, what he's been saying as of recently, or at least what he said way back a couple years ago, how he said, you know, he mentioned how he wanted to make Yeezys for everybody. He also too mentioned a little bit about the 350 V2. He said how he still does not like shoelaces, but yet he still needs to make shoes with shoelaces because that's what people want. And then last but not least, he mentioned how he kind of puffed out his chest a little bit and stated that he is the MJ of sneakers right now. I think he is. I've been saying that since day one. I have been saying that for a while. I've always felt that he's been creating his sneaker line right now. And I get like a lot of, you know, people who grew up watching Jordan, who lived in that moment 
and watch the Jordan line kind of create. Now we're witnessing Ye create that Yeezy line. For him to do that, it's tough. Not all the shoes are gonna hit. If you guys want me to talk about any other topics, that was discussed in that Joe Rogan podcast, we can certainly talk about it in an upcoming stream. Now we have two new pairs of Yeezy sneakers that's gonna be dropping in 2021. Now this is all coming by Yeezy Mafia himself. First pair is a 700 V3 and it's gonna be called Kyanite. Now Kyanite is a rock material that is blue. Now we do have a full detailed image of the sneaker. Now as you can tell, it's got a white kind of cream TPU cage that goes right across the shoe. It also has a cream white sole. Now the blue, that's gonna be on the filter. And that's just gonna be on that wave pattern that goes right across the sneaker. So that only is like the pop of color on the shoe. It's kind of more of a laid back, more dumbed down version of the Azareth 700 V3. Now I do have a pair of Azareths and I will say these are extremely, really, really nice. I think these are probably one of the best Yeezys for 2020, but looking at the image, it doesn't look like it's gonna be the same blue. So if this shoe is too much for you, maybe this Kyanite will be better. Me personally, I like the Azurus a little bit more, but honestly, I could probably see myself wearing the Kyanite a little bit more. But overall, still a nice color. I still expect it to sell out. I mean, the 700 V3 is one of the most popular Yeezy models. Let me know what you guys think of the 700 V3 Kyanite. Now, the second shoe that was announced, I talked about this shoe in my Yeezy sample video that I posted not so long ago, and we saw a pair of 700 V2s they were all alone in a circle. And we were talking about it. And I, you know, it had me thinking like, you know, why was this in a circle? I thought, I threw that out there. I'm like, oh, it's probably just gonna be a 700 V2 static with a slight change. And it kind of looks that way because now we are getting a 700 V2 cream. Now it looks very similar to the static, I will say. If you do have a pair of statics, you certainly don't need these. The only major difference it looks like is the tongue and the siding of the shoe. Basically on the static, it's gray, and you can kind of see that here. That's like on the knit, on the tongue, and also on the side of the shoe. Looks like on the cream, it's gonna be more of a cream color. There might be a slight alteration to like the colors on the side, especially here. I think these are gonna be very similar to each other, so uh, it's good to see that these are coming back. These are one of my favorite Yeezys that I own. I absolutely love them. They're super comfortable. You don't see many people wear these, so having these all come back and everybody rocking them, it's good to see. I don't think it will affect the resale price for this shoe because they are gonna be slightly different. 700 V2s are back and that's good to know because maybe, possibly, we could be getting more colorways in the V2s later on in 2021. Those are the two new Yeezy sneakers that have been announced. Let me know what you guys think. Which one you like better? Are you guys gonna go for the cream or the Kyanite? You know, for me personally, you probably know me, pff, caught for both. Let me know what you guys think on the Kyanite and the cream 700 V2. But that is my video for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.